Yeah, okay, so Emily's name means rival. And she she made me feel like less of a man in like a, like a few different ways, but I remember it was like she would always like try to like one up me and like compete with me. You know, and it was like I don't know, it was just like she she just like did I don't know I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it, just, it was like it was like it was like a competition with her or something like that. Like like didn't want me to be a man or something, and then and then the Haley did the same thing. Like only degraded me, told me I wasn't a man, told me fucking I was a loser, all that shit. She was covering her boyfriend's cum, you know what I'm saying? And. I'm telling you right now, like I said, when I pulled out of the dealership, I never saw girls ever look at me like that before. And, like, today, like, it happened again. Like, just, like, these girls, like, fucking noticing me in traffic and shit. Like, just, like, the way they look at me, it's, like, like I've never been looked at like that before, ever. Before, like, having this car. Like, I truly mean that. Like, I was, like, people respect me more once I get this fucking car, but, like, I, I really fucking mean that, like, these girls look at me completely fucking different, whether they're gold diggers, whether they see I'm a hard-working man and actually appreciate me, whether they see something that I have that they wish that they had, you know what I'm saying, like, it doesn't matter. I've never seen uh, either of my wives ever look at me like I was, I was such a man before. And just feel, like, the energy, like, just, like, the, just, you can literally just, just, you can feel it, feel it and see it, it's just, it's just, it, like, like, they look at me like I am a true fucking man. Like, I, like, I'm in, like, intimidating, yeah, like, like, that's what they, like, they're, like, intimidated, like, in, like, like, a, like, an attracted way, like, like, I don't know. It's it's something different. Like, I've had girls look at me like I'm attractive before and stuff. You know, I've had girls flirt with me hard and stuff before. But, like, it's just, like, it's different. It's different. It's, it's, it's a true, like, manly. Like, not just handsome or cute. Just, like, manly. You know what I'm saying? It's like both of my wives just wanted to emasculate me and bring me down. And they never, ever fucking looked at me like I was a man. Never considered me a man. They just looked at me as this skinny boy. <laughs> it's just some skinny lad. And they, they never gave a fucking shit about me. They're just like, oh, let's take some money from him and then fucking rub it in his face and fucking tell him he's not a man and that he's stupid and all this shit. Like, <laughs> and that's that's what it is. Like, it's it's truly like the pro. It's like it's like all these girls that I know. That it's their problem. Like they have a problem with men being strong. And when I have that car, there, there's these girls that see a, a hardworking man. But besides me just, like, being handsome to them, they say, like, that's that's a man right there. Like, my, I, I tell you, I work hard every single day for my wives, right? Like, like, like that's why I started working. It was for Haley. I wanted to make money for her. Like, like, they never appreciated it. They just took money from me and said, fuck you, and, rubbed, and gave it to their boyfriend. And, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I have that car, and it's like, there, you can see that I work hard for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can see now. Like, I bought a car named after, 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 after Emily, right? Like, she can fucking see that I'm a hardworking man, and she fucking missed out. She fucking missed out. She chose the wrong man. There's nothing fucking wrong with that. There's nothing fucking wrong with it. It's not her fucking fault. It's not their, their fucking fault. Like, they're completely fucking lost. Like, my entire fucking family. <laughs> like, shh. Entire, entire family is just completely fucking lost. And that's, that's just... Just what I always talk about, how my wives don't want me to feel like a man, but now I have this car, I feel like a man. Like, everywhere I go, everybody respects me so much, and they they, they always want to say something to me. Like, this... It's, <laughs> it's crazy. It's everywhere I go, and uh, it's, 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 it's respect. It's respect. And it's, like, it's positive jealousy. 
know, I say that the every polarity, everything has its poles. There's jealousy where it's just like completely like fuck, like <clears throat> give me that, I'm gonna take that from you, jealousy. And then there's the like, damn. I wish I had that and the jealousy that makes you want to like work harder, you know what I'm saying? Like not even, you know what I'm saying? Like like good and bad. It's like it, tra it attracts both people for sure. <laughs> Everything's good and bad, dude. Just like my wives, my wives are like the most beautiful, amazing things in the universe, but they, they want to fucking just treat me like shit, like good and bad. They don't have to be bad. They could be fucking good if they understood polarity and rhythm and stuff, the things that I, I teach everybody. But no, they want to just be like, you're fucking nothing, Jesse. We're going to take money from you. You're skinny. You're nothing. You're not a man. Okay, I'll, I'll go get all these fucking women that want to look at me like I'm a man now. Yeah. And I won't hold this sign and embarrass myself. You can fucking both come back to me and help me feel like a fucking man and I'll solve your fucking murder case. I'll feed your fucking baby. I'll do all these things that you need me to fucking do for you. And I'll be a fucking man for fucking both of you. But but no, if you, if you want to continue to make me feel like I'm not a man, treat me like shit, ignore me. Then you can you could spend the rest of your lives with the, your boyfriends who are just gonna treat you like shit and and do nothing for you, but but bring you down and limit you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's your fucking choice. it really is the the uh, problem and it's like andrew tate like really he's good and bad he's a good like definition of like good and bad like it's good and bad like that he's like talks about like like he really he really does like he really just like describes like like what i am to like all these women like a hard working man and stuff like like just everything like i did for haley like like just started working like so hard for her and everything like he he really just like exposes that to like all these girls that just don't understand anything like like i got up like every single day worked like like multiple days in a, in a row without sleeping to, to make her that that the, all that money I gave her and stuff and she was just like oh it's just money <laughs> let's take it from this fucking loser and then give it to my boyfriend and rub it in his face like, it just means nothing to her like I meant nothing to her the the money meant nothing to her the pieces of paper with my face on it meant nothing to her literally just everything that I gave to her that's literally myself meant nothing to her be, be because it, it has to do with me. <sighs> like, like she just, they just, just, just want to fucking hate me. And it's like, it's like, like, like they, they're too ignorant to understand that they're going to be missing out. <laughs> like have fun, have fun being treated like shit and i'll drive around in my bentley and, I, and i'll talk to these beautiful girls that look at me different than they do and i'll forget that they fucking exist because i don't fucking need to solve their fucking murder case or make all this money to feed their fucking babies or, or save them from being brainwashed by these boys that want to bring them down rather than inspire them to to be the best versions of themselves. I think they, they made, this is such a fucking mistake. So many fucking mistakes. My my whole family just they just make nothing but mistakes and the only thing I do is try to fucking help them and it's all wasted like the video, like that fucking video I made uh, uh talking about the dude with the gold bars. 
you know, the ounces, he was giving away a whole ounce of gold. It's like 1800 bucks. I looked it up. Somebody commented and told me that. I didn't fucking know that. I thought they were like 100 bucks. And he's handing out like $2,000 to like these random fucking strangers and stuff. And he just like throws one of them in the fucking well. Right after I started talking about how all my energy is being wasted and it's frustrating and this and stuff. He just, he's just like, fuck it. He just like threw it right in the fucking well. Like literally like, like the perfect coincidence at the perfect fucking time. I didn't even see that part yet. Like, I didn't even watch the full video. I was just, like, inspired that quickly by that video to make something, you know, like. Yeah, I really, I'm just done wasting the time. Wasting my energy and wasting time. I, I, I put so much fucking energy into saving my family. And then the only thing they want to do is bring me down and make me feel like I'm nothing. So I have nothing for myself. That's what they want. They want me to have nothing for myself and just be nobody. While I'm doing everything I can to fucking help them. Like... <laughs> Nothing, nothing but just negative things just coming from my family being given to me and the only thing I give is light good love just good just nothing but good it's like what what like this this whole world is just completely fucked like, like you can't do good for people without them fucking trying to put you in jail and steal from you and fuck you over and brainwash you and belittle you and tell you you're not a fucking man and take your money and give it to their fucking boyfriends and rub it in your fucking face like 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 they're they're so fucking lost and she was murdered and all this shit and she's fucking ignorant of that and like just it's just ignorance and just, just it's it's ridiculous. Like this is why I'm called the Good Shepherd, the Good Shepherd. Be because there are, everybody in my family at this point is just like this like lost sheep, and here I am uh, trying to, to to help my own parents that 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 wanted to brainwash me and shit, like trying to fucking parent them. That's, that's what I feel. It's, it's like everybody's dealing with their own problems in this world and they're learning to become good people on their own. And my problem is, is like, I want to like literally just like speed that process up for everybody around me. Like they're supposed to know how to be good fucking people on their own. They're supposed to learn that on their fucking own. I don't have to come in and be like, hey, look, this, you're supposed to act like this. You're supposed to do this. Like, like, like seriously, like. The thing is that I try doing that for individual people, but I'm a leader and I should be on TV doing it for everybody. So that I'm not wasting my fucking energy. That's why I always say this. It's like I help all these people. Oh, yeah, I help one person at a time. Huh? And they're, they're always like, oh, fuck you, fuck you. Everybody sees it at once. Uh, all these ways that I can fucking help people. And it'll actually fucking do something. So a real fucking leader that, that isn't here to be a businessman or right? someone who's literally here to tell people like how to fucking think because the world's fucking ending. The, the whole world's ending and you can see that it's ending just just from your own family, how fucked up they are, how greedy they are, how, how there's this such such an imbalance of good and evil. Like everybody's just chilling in, in darkness, like like just dwelling it. They're darkness dwellers. <laughs> That's what they are. They're fucking dwelling in darkness. <laughs> They're fucking just, just, just hopeless. Like 
So like, like, like you can't, you can't fucking help them like at all. Like they'll put you in jail. They'll attack you. <laughs> like it, it's that's 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 the problem. That's why I always say like 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 I've always said to get me on the news and stuff and. It's because I'm the herdsman, I'm George Washington, I'm the king of heaven, I'm Jesus fucking Christ, I'm God. I'm supposed to be leading everybody, I'm not supposed to be here fucking wasting my time getting fucking bitched around by my family that doesn't even believe in me. My family that doesn't even believe in me that wants to bring me down, I'm just wasting my time trying to fucking help them when I should be helping everybody else. And when I try to help everybody else, it's like the same fucking shit. <laughs> because it's it's so little it's so the the amount of people that I reach is so little even if it's like a hundred thousand fucking people even if it's two hundred thousand fucking people it's not enough I need to reach the the whole world so I can reach all the people who are the, the most intelligent the most aware the people who actually want to help people the most, the people the people who are like me, you know what I'm saying? Not just some people sitting on their fucking phones. Or some people driving by or seeing me holding a sign. You know what I'm saying? Right? <laughs> and And nobody ever fucking cooperates with me. Nowhere, nowhere. No organization on this planet cooperates with me. No organization and my family members really like, fuck you. Yeah. It's like everybody's doing this to themselves. <laughs> I'm trying to show, like I'm trying to help them say, so like, hey, like like you're fucking like they're about to just like 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 fucking walk right in front of a moving car, and I'm trying to save them. Like I said, I, uh, I've used that example before many times. I'm just trying to fucking help people. I'm do like I'm I'm doing more than just giving people gold or giving people knowledge on how to make money or feel happy. No, I'm really like 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 saving people's lives. I'm trying to save people's lives. And it's everybody just laughing. Everybody fucking laughing. And it's like, it's like pe people, people need to wake the fuck up. They need to seriously wake the fuck up. How many, t how many times I said the world is fucking ending? For years now. <laughs> just fucking the world, like. <laughs> Like after after all this time, it's like I've gone nowhere. Explain like after thousands of videos, like over a thousand fucking videos. Like just all all wasted energy, wasted fucking energy because this world is just controlled by pieces of fucking shit. It's it's controlled by pieces of fucking shit. The people who were born before me were pieces of shit. And they wanted to treat me like shit. And they want everybody to, to treat each other like shit. They want everybody to be fucking slaves. That's that's that, that's what that's what I used to say. It's like the people who were born before us and made all our decisions. Like we did, we didn't make the choice that we wanted to 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 pollute the earth so much and hurt each other and be slaves to fucking money and all this shit. We didn't we didn't have any fucking choice. We didn't have any. We didn't choose to have our fucking parents abuse us or, or invite some dude over to fucking molest us or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's not fair, like, really goes, like, all the way back to your parents, like, the, like your parents, like they, like, they were born before you, and then their parents were born before you and them, 
it's just like a never-ending chain of like the people who live the longest that, that have the most authority over you when you're born. Like, 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 you can't even be president until you're, like, in your 40s. Like, it's, like, one of, like, the requirements, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no chance for, like, any young leaders in this country or anything like that. Like, you gotta be old. <laughs> you gotta be some old-ass motherfucker that's corrupt as hell. Some dude who's been corrupt as hell for fucking 20 years in the government fucking selling all this fucking oil and fucking killing people, blowing up children, you know, sending some soldiers to fucking blow up some children in different countries so you can fucking make some profit off some fucking oil for fucking 20 years. Then you can be president. Then you can be fucking president. It's it's just all fucking, it's all fucking rigged. It's all fucking just trash. It's all fucking done. This country is just fucking garbage. Nobody wanted to listen to George Washington. They're like, no, nah. it's have our political parties and our debt. And all that shit. Like, dude, the debt is so fucking ridiculous. It's like, don't have debt. What we have, we have fucking just infinite fucking debt. All these problems. Uh, like, like, just, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like, our country isn't even our country. We don't even have a country. Everything's a fucking joke. It's all just corrupt. It's all fucking corrupt. And, and no, no, no organization within this country, like, gives a shit about people at all. Like, they all just act like they fucking care about people. And then, like, you actually try to do something to help people. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. It's, it's, uh, the government is all fucking corrupt. Police are corrupt. Fucking Hollywood's corrupt and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, all, everybody's fucking, everything is corrupt. It's like, it's like, it's like, I'm wasting all this energy helping people, and then I'm trying to save the world, too, but, like, saving the world is just, like, wasting the energy, too, because, like, it just, everything is corrupt, like I said. Like, the police are corrupt, like, they let my wife just get fucking murdered. They're too scared to solve a murder case. Too scared. Mm. Oh, we don't want the mom to hurt us, oh. They're fucking pussies. They're supposed to, like, protect people and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> it's, it's all. It's like a fucking joke. It's a fucking joke. This country is a fucking joke. America is a fucking joke. Like, just imagine if Donald Trump became president again. <laughs> like, like, people, I always see, like, these posts, like, like Trump for 2024 or something like that. Like, people really, really are, like, waiting for Trump to run for president again and stuff like that. Like, this whole country is just fucking a joke. It's all, like, an act, a game. Everybody's corrupt, and, and, and everybody, whoever tries to do anything for this world gets thrown in fucking jail. Anybody who doesn't obey the dumb laws that, that fucking make you a fucking slave and, and, and that aren't right and shit, like, like, like uh, you can't smoke weed in this state. No, you come to this state, you go out in the woods, and you smoke some fucking weed that grew out of the fucking ground. You son of a bitch, you're going to fucking prison. We're throwing you in the fucking slammer, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that. It's, it's all fucking dumb. It's like, it's all a joke. It's all a fucking joke. This country's a joke. The laws are a joke. The people running it are a fucking joke. They don't fucking care. They're all evil pieces of shit. Everything's a fucking secret. There's all these secret societies and shit. They want everything to be a secret. They they just want everybody to to obey and be scared, and be a bitch, just be a bitch for the fucking government, be a bitch for the whole world, just be a subordinate for fucking everybody, so let everybody tell you what the fucking do.
literally just how to live your life, what you can and can't do. Literally like your teacher. Like your teacher, your boss. Like that's what that's what that's what that's what bosses are. They're like fucking like your teacher or something like that. Like hey, yeah, you can't you can't use your phone right now. You, you know <laughs> So everybody's just like obeying literally fucking everything in this fucking world. And like I said, the only thing that can happen is that, is that somebody starts a fucking revolution and saves everything because everything is fucking corrupt. And it's so difficult for the truth to get out. For people to fucking see that and understand. And nobody wants to understand. Nobody wants to think they're so distracted by money and fucking over their fucking family members and making them feel like they aren't, they aren't men and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You do know what I'm fucking saying.